This is an example problem for projectile motion. We're going to shoot a dart at an apple. At the instant the dart is fired, the apple will start falling towards the ground. This uh, dart apple problem, in the older textbooks, you might see this as a hunter and a monkey. But uh, we're just going to shoot an apple here in this uh, example. So we're aiming right at the apple and 30 degrees elevation for the uh, dart gun. X is unknown. We are 1.3 meters above the ground for the dart where it starts. The apple is 5.6 meters above the ground. And the dart starts its motion here. This launch velocity is uh, 16 meters per second. That's at an angle of 13 degrees, 16 meters per second. And we want to determine if the dart hits the apple. If that's true, let's uh, find where is the apple above the ground. Um, that's what our goal is for doing this. If it does not hit, at the time that the uh, two pass each other at this distance x, what's the vertical separation? So let's go ahead and, uh, and begin this. We can write some things down for the dart. The acceleration in the y direction is minus 9.81. That's for both the apple and the dart. The apple has no x motion. For the dart, we're going to ignore air resistance, so the acceleration in the x direction is 0. And in the x direction, the x position of the dart, we're going to start at x equals 0 back at the gun. And the x position is given by the original velocity in the x direction multiplied by the time that the, the dart is moving. So we can expand this just a little bit. The <clears throat> motion in the x direction is equal to the launch velocity and cosine of theta, and then times time. And we have numbers for uh, uh, the initial velocity, and we have the theta. I'm not going to put them in just yet. Instead, I want to take a look at this triangle, this right triangle. X is the base. We have 5.6 meters to the apple. 1.3 meters gets us to a horizontal at the dart where it starts. So there's 4.3 meters in the side here, 30 degrees. That gives us enough information to calculate X. So I want to go ahead and do that. So tangent of 30 degrees is equal to opposite over adjacent, 4.3 over x. So I'm going to multiply both sides by x, going to divide both sides by tangent of 30 degrees, and we'll end up taking 4.3 divided by tangent of 30 degrees, and that will inform us that x has a value of 7.448 meters. So that gives us a value for x, and we can take advantage of that here. We can put in this x, we know v naught, we know theta, and we can calculate the time. So let's go ahead and uh, and do that. And we'll have 7.448 equals 16 cosine of 30 degrees multiplied by the time. So we'll be taking 7.448 dividing by 16 divided by cosine 30. And approximately, the time is 0 0.537. So we are coming up with a time. What uh, has to be confirmed is this time before the apple hits the ground. And you may or may not be familiar, but yes, this is short enough. An object falling 5.6 meters will not hit the ground in uh, half a second. But I'm going to... Uh, verify that down here. And to verify it, now we need to talk about the uh, dart in the y direction, the y motion, and also the apple in the y motion. So in the y, the final y position of the dart, the subscript D stands for dart, equals the initial position of the dart plus the y component of the velocity for the dart is as it starts multiplied by the time plus one half a sub y t squared. 
So that's for the Dart, this lowercase d being Dart. I didn't have to do that for the acceleration. Both the Apple and the Dart have experienced minus 9.81 meters per second squared. Um, so the d, sub, d subscript stands for Dart. For the case of the Apple, I think I have enough room to write it in here, the final position of the Apple, or the position at time t in the y direction, is equal to the initial position of the apple plus zero. The apple is starting from rest. So in this term where we use the initial y velocity, uh, it's going to be a zero for the apple plus one half a sub y t squared. So that's the y equation for the uh, for the apple. Let's find out where is the dart and where is the apple for a time of 0.537 seconds. So first for the dart. Well, the initial position of the dart is 1.3 meters in the y direction. We have an initial velocity in the y direction for the dart of 16 meters per second times the sine of 30 degrees sine of 30 degrees is 0.5 so times 16. The initial y velocity of the dart is going to be 8 meters per second. But let's continue here. Put in the time of 0 0.537 seconds and then plus 1 half minus 9.81 and 5, 0.537 seconds squared. So you ought to crank this out in your calculator. You know, do one term at a time, combine the result. This term is going to be a negative number. But when you do that, you should come up with a solution here that the y position of the dart at a time of 0.537 seconds is approximately 4.18 meters. Now let's see what happens to the apple. The y position of the apple is equal to the initial y position. That's 5.6 meters above the ground. Again, the initial y velocity of the apple is 0. So the term in this third kinematic equation of initial y velocity multiplied by time, that reduces to 0. And then 1 half minus 9.81 meters per second squared for the acceleration due to gravity. And again, 0.537 seconds squared. And as you do that calculation, again, run it through your own calculator. I came up with 4.19 meters, close enough. Just rounding errors. This time is not exact. Um, so. We are hitting the apple, and the apple is 4.19 meters above the ground when the apple is struck. That's, that's pretty high up here. Um, my launch speed was pretty high, so we uh, are successful. The apple is hit by the dart. We aim at the apple. We aim at the apple, fire, drop at the same time. The dart does not move on a straight line. It's under the influence of gravity, so it goes in an arc here and impacts the apple about that position. So that's the uh, dart and apple replaces the hundred monkey problem. Yes, we do hit the apple. Uh, 0.537 seconds after the launch of the dart, we hit 4.18 meters above the ground. So practice some more on that. Ask your instructor questions.